charismatic, magnetic, effortless. There's just something about them. They may not look like Thor, but somehow the gods have blessed them with the gift of sex appeal. They seem to just naturally have it, that indescribable presence, personality, or attitude that excites and attracts others easily. Here are five common signs of strong sex appeal. Do you show any signs? One, how you kiss. According to sex therapist, Dr. Laura Berman, 66% of women say they would break up with a guy after a bad first kiss. She's referring to a kissing research study from Susan M. Hughes of Albright College. In the study, 59% of males and 66% of females admitted that if a first kiss wasn't very satisfactory at all, they would end the relationship. It might be a good way to assess someone's sex appeal, right? Dr. Bremen explains that you really learn a lot from a kiss. She says, you're seeing if you like the way they smell. All your senses are engaged and you get a sense of their sensuality, their connection, whether they're a take charge kind of person or more of a stepping back kind. Wow, yeah, you may find someone has a strong sex appeal from how they kiss you, but it seems there's more you can sense as well. Which brings us to the next point. Two, dynamic attractiveness. You don't have to look like a god or goddess to have strong sex appeal. Sometimes it could be your tone of voice, how you phrase things or how you express yourself. This is called Dynamic attractiveness. Dr. Ronald E. Riggio, PhD, explains in an article for Psychology Today that it's all about body language. It involves the expression of our emotions and our underlying personality and is a critical element of an individual's personal charisma. So what can you do to increase your dynamic attractiveness? Riggio adds that expressing positive effect, which can be a smiling face, an upbeat tempo, and expressive eyes and facial expressions are all associated with dynamic attractiveness. Three, to wear red or not to wear red. Have you ever heard of the red dress effect? It's a phenomenon in which a woman wearing red clothing, perhaps a dress, is seen as more sexually appealing as opposed to other colors. But it might not just be the women in red that have sex appeal. According to findings reported in the Journal of Experimental Psychology, the study's researcher, Andrew Elliott, PhD, says, our findings suggest that the link between red and sex also applies to men. 25 men and 32 women were asked how attractive and pleasant a man was in a black and white photo of them, with the image either surrounded by a white or red mat. The American Psychological Association, which published the study, stated that women who looked at a man surrounded by red or white rated the man surrounded by red a little over one point higher on a nine point scale of attractiveness. A statistically significant bump. So the question is, are you gonna wear the red or blue shirt on your next date? Number four, the pitch of your voice. American psychologist, Dr. Gordon Gallup, asked 10 men to rate 10 female voices based on attractiveness in an experiment. Several audio clips were of the same women, but at different times during their menstrual cycles. Why? During ovulation, females produce more estrogen and more estrogen can raise the pitch of their voices. So what did they find? Men were found to prefer the higher pitched audio clips from women. Dr. Gordon Gallup explains that when females are mid cycle, when they're the most fertile and the most likely to conceive, their voices are rated as being significantly more attractive. And number five, situations and context matter. If you love horror movies or haunted houses, we've got good news for you. Here's why. According to Dr. Ronald E. Ruggio, a great deal of research in social psychology tells us that the situation matters. What does he mean exactly? Well. For example, if you knew someone liked you, you may just find them in your thoughts more often because of this new information, and thus you may start viewing them in a new light. Reggio explains that we tend to reciprocate affection. Enjoying rewarding and pleasing experiences together makes a partner appear more attractive to us. Reggio also refers to the misattribution of arousal, where one mistakes physiological responses brought on by something else such as fear as attraction. Perhaps you're watching a horror movie with your date and feel a kick of adrenaline at a scary scene. But you may just misattribute this as feelings of arousal for your date sitting next to you. Situations matter. Maybe you'd have more sex appeal at a haunted house on a rickety old bridge. Do you relate to these signs? Is there someone you find attractive? If so, do you see these traits in them? What are some ways you can improve your sexual attractiveness? Let us know in the comments below. And let us know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or crush subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.